some tips for effective communication. Use clear, spoken and written language. Match your language to the people you're communicating with. Check that people have understood your message and, equally, check that you've understood someone else's message. Use different ways to explain your message. For example, give an instruction and draw a diagram. Remember, a picture is worth a thousand words. Repeat your message in a couple of different ways if necessary. Talking on the phone as well as via email, for example. Use empathy. Try to understand the feelings and motivations of the people you're communicating with and always check written messages for mistakes and possible misunderstandings. Let's talk a little bit about barriers to communication. Anything that excludes other people is a barrier to communicating effectively with them. The most obvious barrier is language. But this doesn't only mean the difference between your language and one that's foreign to you. Someone from Australia speaking a form of Aussie English to someone from America could be just as confusing. A young worker using slang with older workers or an experienced worker using technical jargon with a trainee could also create misunderstanding and frustration. Um, that's something that we always uh, promote with, with any of our young people who are starting with us. Ask questions. You, you can usually get a sense that if, if uh, your supervisor or, or boss, manager, etc. is, um, is busy um, and they say they'll come back to you, well just let it ride. Um, but don't be afraid to come back to them again and, and when they've got the time to explain it to you properly, they'll take you through it. There could be physical barriers too. Noise or distractions can make it hard to get your message across or to understand others. Moving to a quieter area is a better solution than standing and shouting at each other. Assumptions and prejudice can be barriers to communication too. Not everyone in a workplace will be the same. We're all physically different and have different skills, experience and beliefs. This variety can be a strength in a team, as long as the differences are valued and not disrespected. Yeah, normally um, with migrants um, that we're working who don't have very good English skills, our first step would be to refer them to a provider um, to do further English skills because most employers are looking for basic English and, ex and there's an expectation that their, their workers will have that. As much for our health and safety these days um, as anything. There are many places you can find out more about how to effectively use communication skill in the workplace. Have a look at some of the links on this website for a start and see if you can become a better workplace communicator.